Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today I am going to share with you how to email a CSV file with the content that filters with some query. To achieve this function, we will use the attached template. CSV attachment template is not the same as a PDF template. To implement the CSV template, we need to follow several steps. But don't worry, it is very simple, I will share step by step with you. But before that, if you are interested with the full workshop for the inventory system, you may click on the link that I shared at the top right. Let me show you the result of the exported CSV file. There are four columns in the CSV file. Stock code, description, balance quantity and reorder quantity. Next, let's check out the CSV attachment template. This is the CSV attachment format. We are required to create this template at local drive first, and then upload to our cloud storage later. The first line is the column header. Followed by a query that filtering our exported data. In this query, we are select all data from master table which balance quantity is less than or equal to reorder quantity. Next, follow by the data's column name in the master table. Lastly, close the query with the end tag. All right, the CSV template is ready. Let's upload it to the cloud storage. For this workshop, I will upload this template to Google Drive. But before we upload the template, please check in the Google Drive setting. The Convert Uploads option is unchecked. Next, you may just upload the CSV template to your AppSheet storage. CSV template is ready. Next, check out the setting in the bot. Add a new process with running an email task. Then set the task as shown on screen. Set the attachment type as CSV. Then set the attachment template, select it from our storage. Lastly, set the attachment name and the attachment archive. Lastly, remember to save your project. You may test the bot by clicking the run button. Alright, let's go through once more for the CSV format and the CSV template. The first line in the template is the column header in the CSV file. While the second and third line in the template is the value that retrieves from the master table. And always remember to put the end tag at the last. All right, we have complete our workshop today. Hope you guys are enjoying with the video. We end here today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.